I've lost count of the number of times I've seen a PowerPoint where the text just doesn't stand out against the background. Uh, it's difficult to read and basically it really detracts from it. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how you can make the text stand out no matter what sort of background it's on. If we take this example here, there's a few ways we could go about it. One thing we could do is to highlight that, go to Format up in Drawing Tools, and we could add some text effects like Glow usually works pretty well. And we'll choose more glow colors, and I'm just going to give it a white glow. Okay, already it doesn't make a big difference, but it makes a little difference. But we can actually change the way the glow um, affects the writing. We can make the glow bigger. So if I go back through here to Glow, Glow Options, I can change the uh, size of it to make it much bigger, like a white cloud. Um, you know, that, that could be effective depending on what's in the background, but sometimes weird things happen like uh, the, um, the spray from that, that cloud can actually get over the letters. You can see it's going over the V here, so maybe that's not the best. Instead, what we could do is I'll just bring that size back to a more reasonable level, is I can change the transparency so it's actually not transparent. Now if I close it, you can see that the virus is really stands out. Still got a bit of that um, over the V there, so I'd just change that a little bit, maybe make it a little bit less, um, uh, a bit less of a spread. Okay, well that's one way to go about it. Um, another thing that we could do is we can change the colour of the background of the, um, of the, the block that's in here. So if I uh, right click on the border for that text box and format that shape, I can give it some solid fill. I can um, I'll probably not make it the same colour, probably a contrasting colour, make it a white background maybe. Um, now that definitely stands out, but maybe it detracts from the overall feel of the thing. So what you can also do then is uh, go back into formatting and we can change the transparency of that whiteness, maybe just so a bit of the picture comes through from behind. Um, and what I would probably do is also actually change that colour of the writing to make it black, because what contra contrasts best with white, black does. So there you have it, that stands out much better. Uh, or, you know, let's look at the, the alternative, let's change the writing to white and the background to black. And you can play around with these things until you get something that you really like and that looks the best. Okay, so that looks pretty cool too. Now if you don't want it to be all square like that, what you could do, I'll just copy that text, control, copy, and delete the box, is that you can um, change the shape of what the box is going to be by inserting a shape. So this is a very sort of organic feel to it, it's viruses, so let's put in a curved box. And if I right click on it, edit the text, I can add in uh, the viruses there, change the size of it. And then I can uh, just resize this box to make it look good for the size of the text. And now I can get this box and I can format the shape. Say if I wanted to make it um, black like I did before, solid fill, black, and put some transparency on it. And there we go. And what you can also do is perhaps um, I could change the line, give it a solid line that's uh, maybe a green colour, and change the style of it and make it nice and thick. Now I don't like that green, change it to a different one, more colours. Mm, want it to be sort of more of a dull green. Okay, close. So, um, you know, this is just the start of it. Could play around a lot more with it, find the right size that I like, um, so that it stands out better against the background. And then, you know, you could put it in different places as well. But the idea is making sure that it's got enough contrast there so that you can read it. Um, so I hope that's helpful for.